in Orange Avenue across from Fort Pierce City Hall. Open Monday through Friday from 10 to 4, Saturdays 10 to 3. Taking appointments for the Wellness Center online at johannesnutritionworld.com or call 772-464-3598. Are you looking for your dream home? I am Eileen Simons, a licensed realtor with eXp Realty. My team and I can help you find your dream home on the Treasure Coast and beyond. I bring 20 plus years experience with the residential real estate market, helping both buyers and sellers achieve their dreams. Call or text me at 772-200-5105 or visit our website at mydreamhomeusa.com. This is WPSL Port St. Lucie, the talk of the Treasure Coast. Point. expressed are those of the show's host not WPSL or WSTU or EXP Realty any reproduction or reuse of this program without written consent of WPSL and WSTU is strictly prohibited and now my dream home radio show with Eileen Simons and Paula Brady good morning good morning good morning good morning, good morning. What a beautiful day it is. It Isn't is. It nice? I'm yeah. yes. loving the wind. <laughs> I know it's probably not good for everybody, but I think it feels so nice. The breeze? Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Because yeah. the temperatures are going up already, yeah. so the fact that we have that nice breeze really helps. It does. That it does. Yes. yes. So how was your weekend? Are you busy? Yeah, yeah it's a busy weekend. Uh, Paula had family stuff to do. I did a big open house yesterday with another EXP agent. So we'll talk about that a little bit later in the show. Very cool. Okay. I wanted to start out by saying happy birthday to my darling daughter. Ah. Oh, cool. All All right. This is is a milestone birthday for her today. And we talked on the phone on my way here. And I was so excited to call her that I forgot all of my paperwork for the show today. Hey. (laughs) She's 21. So we'll be winging it. She's 21. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> when she has a 23 year old daughter and a 20 and almost a 20 year old daughter no, yes. she's older than 21 then <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's all right okay <laughs> but it is a milestone birthday. it is a milestone birthday and she's a she's a wonderful woman she is a devoted mother and a wife and um is is raising a bunch of little kids now because um, she also has a seven-year-old and she um, helps to take care of her best friend's triplet boys. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. The woman's a so the, so oh. the four of those little ones are, uh, they were in the car with her when I talked to her this morning. The four of those little ones are um, only a year apart, so they're like all brothers and sisters. That's great. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, you know, it, what was so funny... Uh, of course, uh, our basketball coach uh, on the men's side um, has two uh, munchkins and one uh, a three-year-old who thinks he is an assistant coach. Of course. Um, and so <laughs> he will be someday. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it was great because um, when the team moved on to the next level um, to play in the championship game, Charlie had his son host- hoisted on his shoulder. And his son had a chance to put the IRC name on on the brackets. It was great. Oh, my gosh. Likewise, when the ladies did well, uh, Coach uh, Coach Jamara Robinson's little girl, who's about the same age as Logan, um, they they just tear up the hotel. I mean, it's wonderful. (laughs) Those kids are great. And um, Charlie, again, had her. Aww. On his shoulder. That's so she got <laughs> and, uh, Yeah, and it was the same thing, same drill. Oh, that's it fun. was great. So, yeah, I was joking about uh, uh, the uh, the world's highest paid babysitter. 
<laughs> really? Oh, well, congratulations it was so much fun. to IRSC. Oh. They're doing wonderful. Yeah, so they're they going are. to the Nationals now? Yep, yep. Uh, Road to Hutch has been paved, and uh, we're uh, heading there for a second straight year, first ever for the, the college. And That's yeah, great. We're going to have fun. Excellent. Too bad it's not a Excellent. more fun place to go to. <laughs> well, you know what? Kansas. Um, well, Yikes. you know what, though? <laughs> Just because you grew up there doesn't mean everybody moved I as know. fast as they could. Well, well you know what's know. very interesting about that little tiny town is there's about 50,000 people there. Mm-hmm. And well, that is a nice part. And yeah. it seems like uh, so many of them are involved in that tournament oh i'm sure they and, are. And, yeah. and, and it probably takes the, oh, the whole town well you know we met you know when we were there last year uh, the president of the chamber and all the other stuff you know i mean the mayor and stuff like that and they really do roll out the red the carpet. carpet that's good everybody. yeah they're they're very nice people it, out there. very not... similar to when i was at espn and we had the college baseball world series in omaha yeah. And the same thing. They just roll out the carpet for the clubs and and um, the entire town's involved yeah. in one way or another. Yes. Yeah. And it, I really like that. And uh, I'll, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this. You cannot beat Midwest hospitality. Right. Well, I have to agree with that. Yes. I'm, not, I'm not saying anything about the people or the hospitality. It's just a boring place. Oh, well, the, yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> It's funny you say that. We we're we're, we're on the bus. We not much to do because we were a real low seed last year. We're not this year. We're up there. Um, I don't know whether we're actually going to stay in Hutchinson because obviously there's limited hotel space there. Right. Um, and and or back in Wichita again, but the drive from Wichita to Hutchinson, it's like it is so flat. Yeah. You could see you forever. Could ro- roll a marble from our hotel in Wichita, and it would keep rolling. Rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, that's all the way from the from the eastern Kansas line to the western Kansas line, Colorado. It's that way the whole way. Oh, yep. oh my god! Oh, I can't even comprehend. It's unbelievable. That. I've driven it a few times. It's just oh. talk about boring. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Anyway, my that's where my brother got lots of tickets because he said it was so darn boring you couldn't go slow. He had to go fast <laughs> to get through it, and he got a ticket every time he went. Well, that's a very good explanation. I mean, there you, you go. know, I, I right. had to, or else I would have fallen asleep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Can't officer, go fifty-five. Officers laughing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, yeah. I'm glad he never ticketed our bus driver, who was going about eighty miles an hour. I know. <laughs> but it, you should have a good time. That'll be nice. Oh though. yeah, yeah. Yes. This, good for this, the kids. That's yes. awesome. Yes, yeah. and they do roll out the red carpet. Um, a lot of our skating competitions used to be in lincoln nebraska oh yeah like we would go someplace one year and then every other year for a long period of time we would come back to lincoln and so i mean those towns especially when you return to them every year you know you get to know them as well as you know your own yeah and, and yeah people are just great yeah well our handler last year was uh the district attorney Oh. Uh, of of the town. Wow. And, and he was also, he's on the, you know, the whatever board that the tournament has there as well. And so I kind of hope we get him again this year. That would be kind of Can you fun. request him? You know, I'm sure Charlie has already done that, you know. So. Yeah. yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. That's cool. It's, I'm excited. It's, yeah, you'll uh, have a good time. These kids uh, have worked hard. That's they good. They really have. And apparently the tournament folks really like this team a lot. Because we're playing in prime time. That's awesome. The first yeah. two nights. Well, actually, it would be three nights if we get that far. And uh, yeah, we're in prime time every night. Wonderful. Yeah, it's very That's cool. That's great. So yeah. IRSC will be on the map with the whole country. Yeah. And well. whoever else is listening on TuneIn, right? Oh, well, yeah. It's several countries. <laughs> is yep. it, is it? Yeah. And there seems to be some sort of a magnetism there. Um, I'll get the report later today. But uh, we, you know, last week, we I think we hit 56 countries. Wow, so, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's there. That's cool. It's there, yeah. 
Wow. It's, That'll be fun. Yeah. So the open house. So it was like well, a first real of all, open house? A real open house, yes. So um, but I want to invite anybody who, of course, you know, this is, an, um, this is a live show. So if you want to call and ask us any real estate-related questions, you're going to call the studio here, 772-340-1590. And we'll be happy to talk to you. So, yes, we have a beautiful listing in the Kissimmee area. This home is a great entertaining home. It's large. It has four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. There is a real theater room in it. It's awesome. Brand new TV. With Dolby Atmos and huge TV. And outside of the theater room, there's another game room with a regulation a pool table, a regulation billiards table in it, and that stuff stays with the house. It's yeah. beautiful, and the room, lots of room around it. I mean, it's it's a huge room. So, and then the back, the outdoor patio, Lanai area has a built-in um, grill and fire pit and yeah. an actual fireplace. There's over, oh over thirty-four hundred square yeah. feet under air. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. Yes. And um, and it's close to everything. It's within a half an hour of Disney and the airport and Universal. It's just, it's a great location. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. if you're moving to the Orlando area, call these guys. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll and be, the number We'll is. be happy to show it to you. <laughs> yeah, the number is 772-200-5105. Or you can text... Or you, you can call or text that number, or you can email us at mydreamhometeam at yahoo.com. Okay, now read the phone number like the, the FedEx guy would. FedEx guy? Yeah, the real fast thing. 772 200 5105. Good job. Nobody can write that down. You got that. <laughs> Oh my! I don't think my brain can go that fast this morning. I'm just, I, I can't think that quick yeah. to say it that fast. And another great thing about this home is it's all updated. It has wow. beautiful brand new porcelain tile floors. The whole flooring, all the flooring in the house is brand new. It has beautiful brand new custom painting throughout um, the kitchen has all new appliances. Counter- it, wow. it even has a stainless steel dishwasher, so the dishwasher will never rust inside. Right. Brand new quartz countertops. Right. Uh, it's it's a great house. There's a formal area in it, plus there's casual area. It's um, big open area around the kitchen and the breakfast room and the family room. You can see out through the whole backyard in lanai there's a backyard yeah there's an outdoor kitchen on the lanai there's a fireplace on the lanai which you can see also from the from the master suite which is on the first floor you get up in the morning and you see that beautiful fireplace out there on the lanai wow yeah it's it's a great house very nice so shaquille o'neal is listing uh you know i know you're (laughs) selling that big 18 million dollar complex of yours you can kind of. We s- got a place for you. You got you got a <laughs> brand new home right here in Kissimmee. Tall, tall yes. ceilings too. <laughs> and and the playground has a basketball. In it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, there you go. Yeah, it's so a community playground, and it has basketball. Right. Yeah. That's so funny. Wow. <laughs> so cool. So cool. That's great. So in in the Kissimmee area. So yeah, it's great. Like like here, it's growing too. So. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. But and far enough away from the main road that you don't hear the noise of the rain main good, road. Good. But you're probably what 15 minutes to the turnpike. Oh yeah, not far at all. Not very far uh, at all. The thing too is that it has lake access to Lake Topakalahaja. Or I, I don't, I don't even know, know how, how you say, say that. Oh, I saw. Yeah, that. there is a boat. There is yeah. a boat ramp in boat this community and too, and yeah. if you and you can Storage. whatever those waterways are, you can get out to Into that big lake. lake. Yeah, which I guess even gives you ocean access uh, from that lake. I'm not lake. sure if that lake does, but it might. It would take I you a while to get to the ocean. Yeah, <laughs> really. But I thought somebody <laughs> from told Kissimmee. me that, that you could like go both oh, directions from it. There could be. Wow. I'd have to look I don't know that. for sure about yeah. that. Wow. So. But you do have access to a huge lake with fishing if you're a fisher person. So yep. nice, nice area. 
Very cool. And you don't have to wait for new construction. You right. can move right in. Yep. It's ready there to go. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> seeing that it's all been rebuilt. Yeah. Wow. That's nice. That is nice. Very cool. So that was your weekend, huh? Sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, you know, Kissimmee's a little ways away from here, but we took this listing because it was a radio listener. Okay. Yeah. There you go. And so I said, sure, we'll come and list your house for you. There you go. <laughs> hey, sell, sell, sell. Yep, yeah, that's there you right. Go. Yeah. So cool. So what else is up? So I brought a few articles with us today. I'm using my computer, of course, because I forgot my printouts, like I said. <laughs> You don't have to admit that. I mean... That's okay. I love her to death, so I was really happy to talk to her this morning. There you go. She's got energy like her mom. She's going constantly. <laughs> well, it didn't fall too far from the tree then, huh? No, no. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah. That's 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 really neat. So, happy birthday. What's your yes. name? Happy birthday to Darla. Darla. Okay, yes. cool. Happy birthday. Um, so... This first article that I wanted to talk about, of course, you know, everybody knows at this point that we just keep breaking price records because the prices are just going up and up and up. And, and that's not just unique to Florida. That's everywhere. Yeah. So this is a March article. Um, spring, uh, their point is because a lot of the other country, you know, a lot of the other parts of the country, their buying time starts in the springtime where we can buy all year because we don't have to deal with the winters. And even the winters are probably oh, yes. better for us We've because so many people winter. are here. Right. Yeah. We've yeah. had a rough winter. Right. Oh, yeah. It's was well, cold this. twice, I think. No. <laughs> at, least, <laughs> three at least three days. Yeah. 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 <laughs> U.S. median list price set another record high at three hundred and ninety-two thousand dollars. What? That's U.S. median. That's amazing. You've got to be kidding. No. Wow. Wow. Well, um, it's funny. I'm going back to the basketball tournament again, the, this assistant coach, I brought this up, this guy in Idaho, his houses now are – over a half million dollars in Twin Falls, Idaho. That's yep. phenomenal. That's a wow. And he and he was telling me he's got seven of them now and they're all Californians. Wow. That's amazing. And they don't even blink at a half million. Probably not. It's like you've got to be in Twin I know. Falls, Idaho. That's amazing. Yeah. I heard it's beautiful out there, though. It I don't is. know anything oh, about yes, it. Yes, it is. I think yes, it's a it gorgeous is. place. Yeah, it's a little it chilly for People me. People think it's the middle of nowhere, but it really is beautiful. Oh, and yeah. It really, well, I guess that depends on where you think nowhere there is. is. I was going <laughs> to say, there is, there is nowhere. <laughs> so yeah, listen to some of these median anymore. prices. Uh oh, here we go. Um, Atlanta, Metro Atlanta. Cheap. The the median listing price is three hundred and ninety thousand dollars. Oh come on! Good grief! That's Austin. Amazing. Yeah. The median listing price in Austin is five hundred and seventy thousand dollars. That's Whoa. the tech companies moving moving from Silicon Valley. Oh my! That's oh. amazing. Oh, Austin. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Oh Cincinnati, my. Ohio. Yeah, you're old, you're yeah. old stopping ground. You know, it was always very affordable to live in Cincinnati, Ohio, where their median listing price now is $334,000. Cincinnati. Cincinnati metro area. So oh that means, God. you know, Cincinnati, northern Kentucky area, 300 and what did I say? $34,000. I remember reading a, the Cincinnati Enquirer and they had real estate prices have hit a dramatic 175000 Yep, oh, really. Oh, yeah, oh that was my. only last year. No, I'm there teasing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe two years two ago. Two years ago, yeah. Right. That's amazing. Yeah. I was looking for the Florida ones on here. Miami median sales price or median listing price which i'm surprised this isn't higher but then miami has a lot of different neighborhoods in it uh, my miami median list price is five hundred and twenty five thousand dollars median wow. 
That's median. Oh. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my. These are alphabetical. I, I'm I more down here. It's for. hard to understand where people can, how people can do that. But yeah, I, 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 you know, you look at Florida wages. And, yeah, and with yeah, average yeah. wages. Right. World, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. How right. can you pull that off? I don't Tampa, know. Tampa, St. Petersburg. Yeah. Median. This one isn't. This one is um, not so bad. Um, median list price: three hundred and ninety thousand dollars. There is. That's you know again Florida wages how in how the do world you do it right can you, you can't afford a four hundred thousand dollar home not well to me median means average working America oh yeah no, yes. you know yeah. So absolutely oh, yeah. I'm yeah. thinking median retired person maybe or median uh, I don't know you know that's uh, it's be nice to know what their retired what person a lot of money yeah exactly not not me wow. but well if you yeah. listen to the show that comes on here after us yep. I mean, he talks about the fact that, you know, before you before you needed a million dollars to retire and now you need a million and a half. Half. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think I'm still working? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, I may come to work for you when I retire. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, let's see. Memphis. Uh, actually, Memphis. I'm surprised at this one. Memphis median list price is $227,000. That's out there in the middle of nowhere. That's why. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. Hardly. That town's <laughs> No, no, I'm teasing. Yeah. Wow. Memphis. New Orleans. Median sales, median list price this in New Orleans, $345,000. What? Yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Orlando. Median list price. This, well, I can tell you these numbers are older than March. That's what I can tell you. This article was published March 2nd, but these numbers are older than March because this says $399,000 for the median list so price. So it's close That's to not, Tampa. It's, it's relatively close to Tampa. Then. Yeah, but even that is. But I'm surprised um, Orlando is that low, honestly. But well, you have to remember what's happening in the market nowadays. They price them low because they know they're going to get multiple competing bids. Yeah. So they price them low to get as many people looking at the house as possible, and then they're going to be bidding up anyway. And you know, a lot of the older neighborhoods up there have just been bulldozed in their new condo projects. Oh, okay. Yep. It's and been right a while since the, I've been there. Right around the arena. I, it, it, we saw it happening, and it was like, wow. wow. But, I mean, these were like some really, really older neighborhoods. They're, they're just very. Oh, wow. So th it's changed a lot since but I've again, been there. Yeah. Where do those folks go? Move. Yeah. You know, it, it, we've talked about that for two years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Holy smokes. That's a real wake-up call. Yes, it is. I can't see us moving very far, that's for sure. <laughs> no, me neither. No, I, you know. <laughs> yeah, Carol and I joke about that, but where in the world do we go? Yeah, um, we'll go from the back porch to the front porch. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> that's exactly the way I feel. So there was another, another article that I recently read, um, which surprised me and we have to remember that these numbers were from the 20 what did we just finish 2020 census okay oh okay i got you yeah. okay so as of and i'm sure that if a census was done today this would be back down where it used to be but according to the 2020 census people are staying in their homes longer um yeah. it says that The census says that the typical American homeowner stayed in their home for almost 13 years, which is a lot longer than, let's say from the let's say from the 2010 census. The 2010 census, I did some work in, so um, 
and that at that time, you know, people were staying in their houses like six years. Yeah, yeah six I was going to say the average was five to seven, I thought, at that point. So yeah, in so. 10 years, it doubled. Well, we've been in our house 25 years. Yeah, but yeah. just think of what's happened since 2020. The mass exodus to wherever or oh. everywhere oh, oh, has oh, happened. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And that par partly now we know another reason why that happened. Not only could people move around more freely than they could before, but they had been in their house for a long time and they were ready for a change. Yeah, that's true. I'm sure that if the census was done today, this would be a lot lower than 13 years. Yeah, because people have moved often. I mean, in the last two years, most people have moved somewhere. The COVID effect. Right, right. The COVID effect. But yeah. remember the I think we talked about it just last week or way, maybe two weeks ago that, um, you know, what was it? Thirty five percent of people who are going to buy are, are, are going to try to buy in the next three months. Wow. That, that's amazing, isn't it? I can't. I, but I wonder if it there. Well, with the price of gas now, that may have changed, changed yeah. tremendously yeah. in the last. You know, and what we, have we gone up? We've gone up fifty cents in four days, or some yeah. ridiculous yeah. amount. And we have not seen the worst of it yet. Oh no, I, I don't think so either. No, and it's yeah, it. Ah, oh boy. Well, it, and don't get me going. Would you? Would your <laughs> associations then kind of put asterisks there pre-COVID? Post-COVID type numbers? Oh, they probably are doing that, I would think, or have done that. I haven't read it yet, but... Well, actually, these don't come out of our association. These articles are either from Inman, which is a, um, a publication all about different industry things for the real estate industry. I got you, yeah. Or they come from um, the Realtor Magazine, which sometimes they print similar articles to those or maybe something that is an, you know, an offshoot of, of the original article. But so that's where these numbers come from. Okay. They're done, um, they're done by big organizations with usually big numbers, um, you know, like they did a survey of thousands of people for their opinions to to create these articles sure sure i get it yeah it's a lot different this the statistics now are much different than they were when i was growing up we didn't most well then then again could be the part of the country that i grew up in people lived in small towns their whole families lived in that small town or very near them so you stayed in your home for many many years my parents stayed in their home 40 years so oh, yes well, my parents only moved <coughs> twice yeah really yeah. yeah mine too wow okay they moved when i was six and they moved probably when i was 26 yeah <laughs> so it's a lot different in those areas Sure. And uh, this shows you also, this starts with 2012. In 2012, it was about 10 years that people were staying in their homes. It went up a little bit. It went up a little bit in uh, 2013. And then it went up a little more in 2014. It went up to 11, a little over 11 years in 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. 2020 by 2020 it was up to 13 years and then 2021 now it's um down three tenths of a point so they may be starting I oh yeah that. well yeah. we know they are <laughs> yeah <laughs> and the, the statistics next year will probably be even yes much, even much lower yes yeah so we must have somebody on the telephone that we do awesome oh good who do we get to talk to it is Charlie. Uh, Charlie, you're on. Uh... I'm on the show. Yep. Hi, Charlie. Good morning. Um, good morning. The um, I just wanted to bring up that nobody talks about the price of diesel, and that moves all our goods, 18 wheelers, etc. But I own two diesel VWs. I just paid four dollars and fifty six cents per gallon. Well, I noticed that because and I filled up yesterday for regular gas, and it was it was. 
three ninety nine. So I know by two more days it's going to be over four dollars. And and I saw well, the sign under, for diesel then, and I thought, wow. Under Obama, I paid five dollars a gallon. You know. So anyway, the other thing I wanted to bring up um, because real estate, et cetera. I'm a child of a World War II veteran mm-hmm. who passed away. My mom passed away. But during the World War II, people waited to have children. I have a picture of my parents, 1945. I was born in 47. So my dad waited because you can't have a baby if you are you know, paying a mortgage. Well, th- your dad was in the service? Oh, yeah. My father was an officer under Ike. He was in charge of all the purchasing in Europe. He spent three years in uh, London during the Blitz, one year in Paris at the end of the war. He did not like the frogs. <laughs> yeah, I, like I think frogs. I think I think that was um, a different time. It was a little bit. Well, I'm not sure that simpler is the correct term, but it was a time when. Um, people planned things more, I think, than they do today. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I planned. I didn't, you know, I saved, saved, saved. And yes. retired early. Yeah. But my mom was 30 when she had me. So there was people waited to have babies because of the war. Obviously, Dad wasn't home to make the baby with Mom. You know? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, and they had their babies as soon as they came home. A little bit difficult across the pond. Oh yes, you know? that's for sure. All right. Well, I enjoy your show, and uh, let's go, America. Amen. Thank you for the call, Charlie. There you Thank go, you. Charlie, and you can buy that home in Kissimmee. You're yeah. all set. Hey, Greg, I, I love <laughs> listening to you announce the Indian River State College. I told my friend Frank to tell you that. Well, thank okay. you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, we have fun. I mean, actually, I'm I'm meeting with Frank today. I have no idea why, but we're finally going to see each other. Good. Probably to have some fun together. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Well, All right. God bless America. Take Thanks care. for the Bye-bye. call, Charlie. Thank you. Well, and that's very interesting that you know, what he was talking about. I remember, <laughs> gosh going through some of my father's papers when he passed away and our first house in san diego was a little tiny cottage in pacific beach and they had it was a uh, va loan you know and of course he was in the navy um and um i think it was like twenty eight hundred dollars for the house yeah isn't that amazing and yeah yeah, yeah we looked uh, carol and i when last time we were there when he took her mother back home and um it that little cottage is still believe it or not still standing from world war ii era is now a million six yep wow a one bedroom cottage cottage that's amazing in pacific beach it's like what twenty eight hundred dollar house yeah Yep. Oh my! Yeah, times have changed. And I was I was thinking about this on the way here today, <clears throat> when I was thinking about this house in Kissimmee. Um, the area that I grew up in, homes that were built, like, for all of those people when they came home from the war. Yeah. I mean, those were three bedroom homes, but they were only a thousand square feet. They were smaller, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Much smaller square footage. Um, the first neighborhood that I that I started selling in in Michigan when I got my license was a neighborhood that was full of little brick ranches that were built right after the war. Um, and that's what they were a thousand square feet, three bedrooms, one bathroom kitchen barely enough to turn around in we lived in something like that my the f- house my parents first bought was called a salt box you know it just was a, a little what s- a salt, salt box. box yeah i've salt, heard that term before salt, salt uh-huh. s-a-l-t mm-hmm. salt box really? I, i've never heard that before it was yep. it was two story but just just a little square box it did have a, a, a garage that you would drive underneath the house and a small um, small basement area, but above was the living room, the master, and a small bedroom, 
and a, ba- a bath. There was only one bathroom in the whole house. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And there was a small kitchen with a dinette area that you ate in the kitchen. And you didn't have a big dining room or anything. And then upstairs was an open, uh, the whole bed, second floor was open. Like dormer, like dormer, like a dormer, um, dormer, dormitory Dor- style. Yeah. And wow. one side was my brother's and one side was mine. So um, it was a very, very small house. Mm-hmm. Kids shared bedrooms much more than. Oh, yeah than they do now oh yeah bunk beds oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> i remember those. yeah we had bunk beds until my brother yeah and his all friends my friends who saw them know, off. Had brothers and sisters <laughs> i was a lonely uh, only child but um yeah they yeah bunk beds were all over the, everybody had them yeah. yeah wow but it was v- very very small homes right after the the you know when they came back from the war and um that was the first house they they bought um in the early 50s so that was even, you know, a little past. Mm-hmm. Do you remember? Well, the I price? think prior. <laughs> I, I don't. That I, would be fascinating. Yeah, to see. their second home was was only about, I think it was about twelve thousand dollars, but it was a it was a much bigger home, and it needed work. Ma, they they bought it because it needed work. There had been a fire in the house, and ha- they had to replace a lot of things, but. They put the heart, they put the elbow grease in, and we had a very nice home. That's the home that we lived. In, my parents lived in for forty years. Then, wow, that's the home your mom still has, mom right? Still has. Yep. It's a rental out there. Yeah. Wow, mm-hmm. something to be sweat said for sweat equity. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, if you're into DIY, which uh, yeah. uh, Car- Carol has uh, banned me from even looking at a <laughs> hammer. Well, uh, my, <laughs> my dad's folks, they all grew up on a farm. They knew how to do oh, th- make do with what they had and fix what it. If it was broken. There you yep. go. Yeah, yep. well, see, that that's a mentality that I think has gone away. It has. It, it really... You Most know, of these young people want to come in, and they want to have a palace when they walk into it. They don't want to consider doing any work to it. It's got to be fixed, you know, at least... Yes, up, has to be... Has to updated, be. <laughs> so they, they call it now. Yeah, updated. Right. Remodeled. Well, and it's funny. We were talking to a couple of the players that way. You know, I was just talking about, oh, well, they've got to... Hire somebody to do this. Hire somebody to do that. And our coach turned around. And he said, "With what?" Yeah. He said, "Do it yourself." There you go. You know, and <laughs> one of the kids looked at him like, "Huh? What but, are you talking about?" But you see, know? they don't. They well, you know, they took that. shop classes exactly. out of, out of the high school. That's schools. what I was going to say. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I remember. They that. don't know how to do anything anymore. I Nobody knows that how class to too, use a hammer or a, even and no power tools now you don't use regular hammers anymore too much yeah, yeah i'm know. not very safe with them so i, I try not <laughs> to use those <laughs> <laughs> well, well, i know well you do have i to do be leave that careful. stuff to more inept people <laughs> <laughs> yep we'll uh Whole different lifestyle yep we will uh keep that chainsaw away from my lane <laughs> oh i have a new one of course my my daughter-in-law she has renovated two of the two of their homes Oh, she is. She is very talented. Really, very talented, good. Yes, huh? yes. Wow. Yes. That's amazing. How have they done? I mean, have they actually made some pretty, pretty? Oh yeah. Out of it? Um, she did. I I think the first one. I want to say the first. Uh, her, her husband was um, career military, so the first one she did was before they went overseas, and then the second one she did is the one that they live in now in Virginia. Okay. So yes. Cool. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's fun. I've always wanted to try, but um, I do have a small little chainsaw for outside cutting tree limbs and things like that. So that's fun. But well, I watch those DIY <laughs> shows and I look at what they do, and it's like a miracle. Uh, you know, it, and they only do it in a month. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, you only see the stars of the show. You don't see all the, <laughs> the big, huge crew behind them. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's God. there. I love watching those things. Though. I do too. My husband hates for me too. He goes, "Now what do we got to do?" <laughs> <laughs> we have almost everything done now, so you don't yeah, have to do, do anything else. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a couple years before I want to change anything. <laughs> Oh, no, no, not again. Uh, You know, talking about DIY, this other article that I brought today is about new building materials that they're trying out and starting to use. Oh, okay. So, because, of course, lumber prices are just going through the roof, um, one of the products 
And of course, this depends on. Oh, we got somebody else on the phone. Yep. Woo hoo. <laughs> and this. I think it's Barton. Hello. That's correct. Barton, are Hi you there. there? I'm here. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. How you doing? I'm doing fine. And you're in I'm Port St. Lucie, right? I'm in Port St. Lucie. I'm a snowbird. Okay. Where from? Uh, well, I'm, I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Oh! Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I have a little place up in Pentwater, by Pentwater, Michigan, which is north of there now. You have a little place where? Yeah. It's kind of difficult to hear you. Uh, it, Pentwater, which is north of Grand Rapids. I know where it I've is. A, yeah, it's a real nice spot. i got a nice little place on the lake. Oh, and, that's uh, nice. But Great place anyways, for summers. I, uh, place where I go in the summer to get out of the heat. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you were talking about the cost of um, housing and everything. <clears throat> and I just wanted to uh, tell you, my uh, grandfather, this would have been my, excuse me, my wife's grandfather, he died a few years back at 100 years old. Wow. Uh, his, his first place, he bought 25 acres with a cabin and a dirt floor in it in southern Illinois. Um, and his mortgage payment was $13. Oh, my every, goodness. Oh, my goodness. $13 every six months. Oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. So when was this, like in the 30s? And, and they had a tough time getting that $13 up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure. They were far They went through the depression. Yeah. Yes. So what, when, and, when, was, when was that, Barton? Hey, what, 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 what well, year? Well, he died, he died about um, eight or nine years ago um, at 100. Um, and uh, <clears throat> so he lived through the Depression, um, starting his family. And uh, the, uh, he didn't really get a good job until he turned 55 years old. And he finally got a job with a railroad as a welder. And he worked for the railroad for 25 years. He retired when he was 75, and he lived to 100. That's amazing. Wow. wow. Yeah, and, you that's, know, that's way back people. then, I mean, they, they basically lived off their land. They Everybody yeah. grew their own food, and um, so I, I can understand that. That's, that's what I was just going to say. He had uh, grapes, he had pears, he had apples, yeah. blueberries. And uh, he ate off the land, and his philosophy was to work hard two hours a day, every day, two hours hard work. And when he was 96, and he uh, he came and visited us in the in the winter time, he, we had a place in Jupiter, and he would go around in uh, at 96, and he'd be pulling the weeds all around and i had a couple acres and he'd be pulling all the weeds next to the fence line <laughs> i don't doubt it I don't and why it. do you think I he lived it. to 100 you know yeah. <laughs> oh, he's t- tough I, old bird as they say know, <laughs> something to be said for staying busy the things are a different world during the depression they'd go underneath bridges to find goslings you know what those are Goss- yeah it's a bird goslings are, are baby pigeons uh-huh Oh, I've never heard that terminology. They make a big pan full of goslings during the Depression. Mm -hmm. Whatever you could find. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, But Grandpa decided to to, to get married at 17 because he was mixed up with kind of a bad bunch of guys. They had been going out uh, stealing buggies, horse and buggies. Oh, my gosh. Taking those horse and buggies for a ride. (laughs) So he decided to get married at 17 to stay out of trouble. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) That's funny. <laughs> and let his wife make a make a good man out of him, right? Yep, yep. His, his granddaddy's granddaddy's granddaddy rode with Daniel Boone, James McMillan. Wow. And, wow. Uh, it's great to have those family yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah. They, my side's got quite a bit of history to it. Um, but, but anyways, the prices have changed so much. I don't know how these young people do it. I don't either. I'm um, trying to come into it. Yeah, and I, I know some some uh, young people that are really struggling uh, to try to get a place down here. And even with the wages they're paying, it's, it's just not enough. No, so, that's um, for sure. The, so prices, the prices of housing are going up much faster than the prices of wages oh, are. prices yeah. of everything, yeah. So, uh, exactly. Barton, how much is your uh, home worth up in uh, Grand Rapids? 
Uh, well, it, uh, the, the cab, it's a cab around a lake, um, and I would say it's worth maybe, you know, 175 somewhere around there. Um, are you on Are you on the lake or an inland lake? I'm on an inland lake. Nice. And I've got two acres. I've actually got a little island as well. Oh, that's um, wonderful. I, yeah, I did buy it as a fixer-upper. Um, it took me three years and probably five other houses that I had bid on to finally get one. Um, and I did have to purchase it with a um, as-is. Oh, no, yeah. I did no inspections. I bought it as-is. Now, of course, I do um, on the side fix up housing and do some, some uh, uh carpentry work so I kind so of you did your own in. work yeah I'm in, I'm in the process of it now too i'm gonna go up there and restore it and i just feel for these people trying to get a place i i think that um for a lot of folks for these younger folks if they can get together and buy the land and build their own house yeah i, I think that's maybe the answer for a lot of people because it's it's just gotten so expensive here yeah you're Anyways, right you're you're feeling on that and where it's going to go, and I want to say thanks so much, and, and I'm going to listen to you on the radio. Awesome. Thank, Thank you very you. much wow. for calling. Cool. Cool. Oh, you gotcha. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cool Bye family stories. That's wow. fun. Yeah, $13 really. mortgage. <laughs> I, I want to call that mortgage company. I'm in. Wow. <laughs> that had to be before the 30s. That was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. That's amazing. I can't even comprehend something like that. Yeah. But you know, I want to remember. Uh, I I want to say that when my dad came home from this from World War II, mm-hmm. his first job, full time job, um, what he made twenty six dollars a week. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, th- yeah, that'd be close. that would have been that was, was like nineteen forty six. I think my father was forty ish. Or forty-five dollars a week, or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and my dad was working for RCA, and they had this stupid newfangled device called a television. Oh boy! <laughs> and he was involved with that. That's amazing. Yeah, we we had a television. They um. I don't think it was a wedding gift. I think it was something that they purchased right after they got married. But it was about the size of of that um, Tower. with all the stuff in it <laughs> yeah. over there, with all the electronics in it. And it was um, the big speaker on the bottom. Yeah. And then it was a television that did this on the side. It was a console. Yeah. yeah. And then it had um, it had a radio in it, and you opened the top, and it was a record player. Oh wow, yeah. that's yeah, all, all oh, in yeah. one. That's I cool. Remember, I remember those. Yeah, yeah, it was a beautiful piece. Of, we had that for a long time. Beautiful piece yeah. of furniture. But this little tiny TV screen, it was flat on the top and flat on the bottom, and yep. curved on the sides. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, it was yeah. probably an RCA. <laughs> yeah, I probably have, was. Yeah. Have been yep. RCA. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yep. That's amazing. Times have changed. Yeah. Anyway, um, back to new, just the um, curious about these new building materials. Florida, of course, we have to have our structures so strong to withstand hurricanes. But um, this and this this article is from all across the country. So it talks about bamboo. They're using bamboo in um, in construction. So I'm gonna I'm well, gonna bring this article back next week so that we can read a little more about it and then there's also something called hempcrete h-e-m-p-c-r-e-t-e yeah yeah and you can smoke it too no i'm sorry no no, no i don't think that kind you can i don't no, think no, so no, no. not with the crete part in it anyway <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh the bamboo yeah. i think it's they're doing that because it's a sus- sustainable well the hawaiians you know, and tahitians have used, have used it for years yeah. and years yeah. right yeah and yeah. and yeah and these this this these blocks are made out of hemp. It says they're mold resistant, energy efficient, thermal insulation, termite free, fire resistant. Wow. Carbon negative, uh, load bearing, and fast and easy assembly. Interesting. Wow. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to read more about this yeah, article. Yeah, find out about that. <laughs> Let's start a Hemp Creek company. <laughs> well, oh, somebody no. did. It's called Hemp Block USA. Hemp Block USA. There you go. Well, I missed out on That's that. That's interesting. One. My brother and his wife when they built their home, they built 
uh, crazy people, but anyway, two infants <laughs> in a in a, noose, a gooseneck trailer they stayed while they were building their house. They used some kind of a block, but I thought it was like a, I don't want, I don't know if it was styrofoam. Cinder I'm going to have to find out. No, Cinder no, block? no, no, well, no. You could pick it up and then you filled it with concrete. And Oh, that was the form for it, yeah. Th- it, but it was a... F- um, they used stayed. to do. You didn't take I don't away. know if they still do, but they were doing build. Um, they were doing. Um, they were doing basements in Michigan yeah. like that because so because the form itself was the insulating product, right? And then they poured in between of it. They poured the um, cement for the. Um, for the structure to make a of solid the wall, yeah, right of the walls yeah. for okay. the basement. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah. And they did something like that out in Arizona when they built their house. I'm gonna have to ask him what it was actually called, but it was like in the shape of a oversized cinder block. It was probably twice the size of a cinder block, and they built it up and filled it with concrete. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Cool. Yep. That's, that sounds different wild. way of doing things. Yeah, we got a couple minutes. Left. I know we're getting a little bit short on time, but we have another new listing that I wanted to make sure we talk about today. Um, if you're interested in the Florida Club, this listing is not going on the MLS because the owner doesn't want it on the MLS. But we do have a new home av- available in the Florida Club. So um, this is a three bedroom plus a den. Uh, the nice thing about this floor plan is the great room and the dining room and the kitchen are very open. Mm, I like that. It's it's a un, it's unique also because it has plenty of storage in the main bedroom suite and um, two bathrooms, basically a his and a hers. So you can each have your own separate area in the bathroom. This home has a beautiful private pool. With a covered patio and huge birdcage around the pool and the lanai. Um, beautiful home, yes. So if you're interested in the Florida Club, let us know. And we can uh, get you in sometime next week to see the property. Very nice. And awesome. again, it will not be listed on the MLS. No. Right? No. Interesting. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So our phone number, you can call or text us, is 772-200-5105. Or you can email mydreamhometeam at yahoo.com. That sounds great. Uh, yeah. Uh, boy, that could send me house. Sounds wild. If I was moving <laughs> to Orlando, I think that would And, you know, it's perfect for, uh, well, either one of them. I mean, they're both very different homes, but they're both perfect for entertaining. So. Cool. All right, your, Let us know. your contact info again. 772-200-5105. And no, I'm not going to speed say it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, we'll see you next week. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a week. wonderful week, Have everybody. A safe trip to- Kansas. Oh, oh, that's right. I'll be. I'll probably be in Kansas. Yeah. Good luck to the basketball kids. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Pot of gold. Uh, uh, what was that the movie? Oh. Anyway. <laughs> this is WPSL Port St. Lucie. WSTU.